Well, hey everybody. I uh, just want to welcome you to another video that I'm doing out here in my solar shed. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been a crazy last two weeks with the in-house orders and the quarantines and all the stuff going on, going on in the world. And um, so I've just been spending time with family. But uh, today's my birthday and I get to do whatever I want. So I'm going to do a video. So. Um, you know, as you know, I live in Arizona and so this shed is going to start getting very, very hot soon. Just yesterday, April 3rd, it was 84 degrees outside. And so I have put an air conditioner in the shed. It's completely run off of solar. So if this is something that is interesting to you and you'd like to find out how to solar power an air conditioner, then stick around and watch the rest of the video. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us, and we hope that you enjoy the video. So last week, Home Depot was having a sale on this window-mounted unit. It is an 8,000 BTU that can cool up to 350 square feet. It's made by Toshiba, and I've got to tell you guys, it has been super, super impressive. Now, as we scroll over here and we take a look, here is the unit mounted into the window. Now, I did trim this window halfway and then barricaded it off right now because it's going to start getting hot and I don't want that sun shining through. But there is the unit mounted in and it's, it's pretty, pretty stinking awesome. And I'll have some video here in just a second of how many watts is taking when it's in idle, how many watts is taking when it turns on. And if we come back over here and look at the solar system, I'll show you how this is all handling and what I've had to do to get it to work. And so super, super impressed. And um, if you've been following my channel, you might recognize that I added another solar charge controller there. And that's just to add some extra wattage to the system because I got another solar panel up on the top. So we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. So stick around. One of the reasons why I chose this unit is because it actually has a built-in Wi-Fi system that allows me to connect into the Wi-Fi that I have out here in my solar shed using cellular technology. I've got a video and I'll link to that one as well if you wanna watch that. But remotely using the Wi-Fi system that I have over here, I can turn the unit on and off, adjust the temperature, adjust the fan, and everything r remotely, no matter where that I am in the world um, via the Wi-Fi connection there. So in, let's take a look at the screen and the app, uh, how that works here. So here you can see the app, and I can control every aspect of the air conditioner remotely from my phone which is actually one of the reasons why I bought this particular system is because with its built-in Wi-Fi module uh, and the app that Toshiba offers, um, I can control it from anywhere. So I can keep the shed at a reasonable temperature, especially as it gets hotter this summer, and I want to keep the equipment you know, at a, at a reasonable temperature because it'll be 115, 120 degrees outside. So yeah, very cool. So here's the unit running, and as we come in closer here, you can see the display there, and I've got the temperature set at 62 degrees. And I gotta say, it actually keeps the shed at 62 degrees. Yesterday, when it was 84 degrees outside, it was still 62 degrees here inside the shed. So pretty cool stuff. So here's a look at the unit mounted there in the wall, as I used up half the window to get it to work. And I'll go ahead and, and silence myself here so you can hear the sound of it. And here you can see that the outside temperature is 76 degrees and the inside temperature is 62. So actually keeping the shed pretty cool. Here's a look at the rooftop of the shed. As mentioned, um, I've got three solar panels now producing about 750 watts of power at peak power during the sunniest part of the day. Here's a look outside of the shed. As you can see, we have a super beautiful sunny day here in Arizona. And as we make our way around the back side of the shed, uh, you can see that the air conditioning unit there is mounted again in half that window. And so this is where it's, it's 
you know, pulling the air from and, you know, getting the fresh air. So, yeah, take a look at that sun. So I have two charge controllers now to help produce enough power to, to power the AC. And right now with the AC running full blast, I am in bulk mode on both of these solar charge controllers. And as you can see though, the battery voltage is still where it needs to be. And even during the sunniest part of the day, these are going into float mode uh, at fully charged and the air conditioner is running. Every once in a while it'll switch back to bulk and it's, it's pretty freaking amazing how much power is actually coming out of these solar panels and really not even phasing the whole system at all. So let's take a look here. Let's go into the Victron app here and let's go and look at this um, solar charge controller and you can see it's pulling 630 watts right now and as we come back over to the 120 uh, solar charge controller and it's pulling 221 watts right now so we're well over you know 700 watts right now coming into the system and as we look at the battery monitor here I'm at a hundred percent on the state of charge and I'm only negative four zero watts four watts zero watts so six watts so even when it's fully sunny out here and I have the air conditioner on set to 62 degrees I'll be bouncing back and forth between 10 days to infinity on the time remaining and so yeah really really cool to see how much power is being pulled in off of this system here during a, the middle of an Arizona sunny day so as we look at the watt monitor here the watts that we're seeing here in these lower numbers you know 84 78 90 maybe that's when it's pretty much in idle and it's just the fan running and so there's no actual compressor or AC actually running it's just the fan kind of keeping the air moving here inside of the shed so that's what we're seeing on these lower numbers here so let's see what happens here when the AC actually kicks on and what the watts go to when that happens so the fan just kicked up a little bit now it's at a hundred and one watts and I think the AC compressor is getting ready to kick on here for a second so let's give it a moment and see yep there we go 590 585 and so 571 so this is what the wattage is when the unit is in AC mode and it's actually cooling the inside of the shed and so at 560 to 580 watts, I'm actually still at a positive wattage with my system here pulling about 700 in some cases, 700 watts from the solar panels and the two charge controllers. So my hope is, is this summer when it's really hot outside and we have a lot of sunshine, I can stay at a positive wattage um, and keep the AC running and keep the shed cool and keep my components and my equipment inside the shed uh, cooler than, than we have outside. So we shall see how that happens and I'm sure there's videos to come along the way with how the solar uh, AC is doing uh, this summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens to this thing when it gets to be 115 degrees outside this summer. So hopefully I can maintain 90, 95 degrees here in the shed just to keep the components, you know, not so hot and at a good operating temperature. So thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if it's something that you like to watch and, you know, figure out and tinker with just like I do. So appreciate you joining today. Stay safe, stay inside if you need to stay inside and we'll catch you next time.